everybody. Welcome to another Ride Along with Goggles. And uh, today we're in Grand Coulee, Washington. We're heading for uh, Bellingham and uh, Washington. <laughs> yeah, we've got a beta here of a mod from Salonic. Now you saw, you've seen a few videos now where I've taken his felling trailer. Uh, and there's a, this is a modification to it or in a development. And now this is a 32 foot version, four axle, should be capable of carrying a bunch more weight. And this time out, I'm gonna try the JCB 245. And this thing weighs 61,000 pounds. So we're gonna find out what happens here if the truck is gonna steer or not, or if I have to make mods to the truck, or perhaps uh, Salonic has done something with the truck. And the truck is the SCS W900 modified for this dump body and there's two different dump bodies one is a really tall one for like refuse or lighter weight dump where you can have a bigger volume and this is the one for like materials like earth and stone rock sand that kind of thing we have gravel in it and um yeah let's see how we get on uh, let's take a quick peek at the map and this trip i've been trying to get a load here for a while um this is kind of a nice drive and it's one you don't take very often around here and it's also nice here it's not in a hurry like i wonder what would happen if we rerouted that would be a lot longer wouldn't it yeah if we went this way oh yeah <laughs> it would be uh on my own time i would want to do that but this is fun nonetheless it'll be a good drive so let's um Hop in and see how we make out. And I appreciate uh, Salonic giving me the opportunity to try this out. And so thanks to him for that. We'll hop in here, see what we got for a view. Get those high beams off. And uh, let's see, what else do we got to do? I guess that's it. Um, light her up, hold on. Let's see what happens. Oh, steering's not there. Oh, shoot. Well, that's a bust right there. Well, you stop for a few minutes and it gets all foggy. <laughs> so uh, I was able to go into uh, Slonix mod and add weight to the front axle. So let's see if that worked. And we're going to be able to steer it now. If we can, we'll carry on. Let's find out. Yeah, oh, we're good. So we're going to be able to do the video after all. Well, that's cool. Yeah, I really wanted to do this. Hopefully this fog will burn off. Do we have a roof can? Yep. There's an option to have that uh, tarp closed, which you should have for travel. But I wanted to be able to see the cargoes I was putting in it. And I guess I could have closed it after, but well, you know me, always in a hurry going to get pulled over now. Oh, let me set Toby. There we go. So I have to find the happy balance on the front axle weight. I just threw... Jeez, what did I throw at it? 20,000 pounds? We got a six and a quarter horsepower, no, 669 horsepower, 3406E. It's too bad we're not going to be able to see the dam over there. I guess set up my seat a little bit or either that or 
change the seat position. So this is cool. I like these. I like these mods that these guys are doing. I like this box. It's oh yeah. Okay, so we're not quite enough on the front axle. Let's see how we do when we get on the highway. Now we know we can do it. I might have to go out and add a little more. So you can hear this. <laughs> I had a little uh, online chat with uh, Stevie uh, this morning. And he was asking about the lack of turbo sound or whistle from the Zmods 3406B. I don't know if I have much sway or influence over there or not. I kind of doubt it. But if anybody from Zmods world is listening, yeah, how about that? Because, like, Stevie's owned several 3406Bs in real life and probably driven even more. And, uh, you know, he was lamenting the fact that you just can't hear it. And you would always get a little whistle. And depending on the intake system of your truck, you determine how much of it you actually hear. So I'm wondering if that's something, or I guess Stevie is, and I'm right there with him and wondering if that's something Zmod can adjust on the 3406. I like it when you get in. You gotta turn it down a little bit, like this engine, I should turn this down, it's a little loud. But I have my, all my sliders up, because I was running the uh, 3406B and there was nothing, and so I had it all the way to the right. That was close, we almost, oh, is this turn only? It is, shoot, I was hoping. I was hoping not to come to a standstill there. Now we're hooped. Well, that wasn't very good. Oh well, uh, yeah, so this is a pretty neat deal. Now a few things, it's a beta. So I noticed that the hood position has changed. And um, so the Kenworth doesn't line up in the middle of the, the stripe anymore. And you can see, just checking the light, excuse me. You follow the stripes were on the door across the filter back panel there and then it hits the hood and the hood is shifted upward so I imagine that's something that's happened in the uh, making this a, a rigid chassis so it'd be interesting if that's going to be status quo or is that going to change if it's going to change that would be cool because then the old paint jobs would work and if it's not going to change, it means a lot of work. Now that being said, once you figure it out, what the offset is, you know, it's it wouldn't take a lot of time to go and uh, redo skins for it. But once again, it's time. It's funny, the steering feels like it would if you've got weight taken off the front end. It feels light and a little vague, which is pretty realistic. Boy, that fog's thick as pea soup. Water temp's still coming up. It hasn't reached, uh, I think it usually gets up to 195. Or it's cold out. I guess we should be able to cycle through this and see what the uh, temperature is out. I don't think that ever really matters in the game though. Oh, yeah, it's going up 178. going up very fast though. Okay. 
Okay, let's just take it. Oh, you hear a front tire squealing. Yeah, I think we're gonna be alright. We don't need to add more weight. I don't think, uh, you know, it's, there's gotta be limitations to what you can do, right? But, uh, it's taking a lot of power. We're not going very fast. clearing up. <laughs> yeah. You want realistic weather, but <laughs> at the same time, you want it to be sunny and bright all the time for the videos, you know. In, in single player, I don't mind, or even convoy, I don't mind when the weather is all Kind of out of hand. Uh, oh yeah, steering is definitely compromised, but I think that weight is probably about right. Now, what I'm going to do, I guess after the video, oh jeez, I don't think I'll have time at the end of the video to go and weigh this thing. See what happens and see if the weight I added to the axle shows up in the game it should. I thought the rear axles were a little lightly loaded, but uh, was it 2,500 kilograms each? That seems a little light, but you're not suffering at the rear. It's all up front. See if you notice that truck go by the image of it change that was the load distance multiple load distances and as I mentioned the other day in a video so initially it looks your computer is drawing just a block coming down the road by the time you get your peepers on it hard it'll change the image to something a little more uh, detailed that lower gear. Yeah, it's pretty cool mod. Side, get up to that corner and turn right without throwing it all away. Steering real good. There we go. 
Oh, come on. Where are we going? <laughs> Help. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, that was funny. It looked cool as heck, but... Would have been nice if it kind of followed us around the corner. down a bit. Oh, got the signal going still. trailer. The uh, load binding looks pretty good on it. Got those boomers sticking out a bit there. Those load binders. Oh, we're going to be here too soon. Oh, wow, we're going to keep rolling. There's a home garage. There's a uh, big garage mod. So you can see it's working in 151. Got to do another one of those one of these days. And got to decide what company. Ooh, maybe Oak Ridge Trucking. Those skins seem to go over pretty well. So it might be worth its own garage. What do you guys think? Oh, great trucking, big garage. Oh, here comes a scale. Ah, oh, rats, we're getting the wave around. I kind of would like to have done the math and add 18,000 to it and see if uh, the weight was added to the truck in game as well as making it steer better. It actually shows up. Oh, he's going to let us go here. Maybe he wanted to go right. No, nope. I guess he just knew I was in trouble. Stuck in that lane. Wow. An act of kindness from the AI. Go figure. Got 342 gears in here. Probably not, uh, should have went with 355s or 370s, I guess. drive though you don't uh, you don't get to take this highway very often here this stretch <laughs> I will uh, you know, we get a uh, handle on what's going on here we'll show you on the map where it is again just in case you want to come on this road club cafe out in the middle of nowhere very nice. Oh, there's a rest area up ahead here. We will, um... Yeah, we'll, we'll look at the map right here. So this is where we are, and this is this nice section of road like I said, oh, there's another scale. Maybe we we'll better start doing the math now. <laughs> I've complicated it with adding that weight. But yeah, nice little drive here, this section. Like I say, there's not often a cause to come across here. You know, you're taking this route here. Or you're taking this one here. So, 
And even this road, I don't remember the last time I've been on that. Hmm. Might have to make a point of that soon. While we're here, this is a cool little spot right here. There's a town right here. And when you come down the hill here around this hairpin, you got a nice little view of the town. You go down through the valley, there's a bridge probably, I don't know, here somewhere. And you go back up the other side. So there's a, a river running right through here. Neat little spot. And if you can get into this bush knoll or sunshine crops, they're pretty cool farm locations too. Anyway, back to the business at hand here. Now we got our foot in it hard. Okay, math. Weight 61,800. Uh, yikes. I figure this should weigh 92,000 pounds or so. Just rough calculations. And we'll see if it's like 10 or 18,000 pounds over that with the weight I added to get the front end to steer. Northwest freight up there going slower than we are. Well, we may be going that slow by the time we get anywhere near them. Northwest transport. Yeah, you should get going here pretty quick. Look at the uh, scenery out here. Uh oh. Sorry, I took that higher in the rev range than I intended to. Had to get back to my mouse to get back inside. Here's another truck that uh, needs mitered pipes and doesn't have them. This SCS. Oh, come on. This SCSW uh, 900. Make a good photo here. Uh, no, <laughs> that was a bust. Too much foliage, too close to the truck on both sides. To the thing was leaning over like a drunken sailor because of the corner. To get another opportunity here. Maybe, oh man, steer baby. Get wobbly. It may, uh, if your graphics card's a little weak, it won't draw in. You have your graphics settings turned down, you won't get all this full foliage like we have here. Which is, you know, I noticed that from what's been quite a while since I've been on this road. And I remember it as being a lot more sparse, and that would have been my video card back then was pretty weak. Oh, I made that gear, darn it. Talked myself out of it and thought I didn't get it. 
That's one thing I like about the uh, racket that uh, we get out of the, uh, the Z-Mod Peterbilt interior in effect. Oh, rats, we get the wave around. I was counting on you guys. Come on. It's, <laughs> it's about the science. engine isn't getting up to temperature at all. Oil temp is up a bit. Um, got to cycle through this and see what the outdoor ambient temperature is here. in the tent. Well, maybe they don't give it to us. I really like this mod though, like I said earlier, and uh, it just, you know, even like the idea behind it just adds more to the game and uh, you got a meaningful cargo that comes from the, you know, with the game. So it's not like, um, you know, the MTG uh, 281 slash 351 has a little trailer that comes with it, but you're you're not getting game cargos and in this case we've got the JCB track hoe on here so we've got a really nice cargo and uh, nicely tied to Ooh, that guy's coming in on us sir oh another scale and we get called in yeah here we go so I was saying I don't know I'm really guessing at the weight of the truck with the dump box on it and the extra axles I think I was saying 26,000 in my calculations in my head. And so let's see if it weighs more than 92,000 here. And by how much, and it'll... Because like I say, I added about 18,000 pounds, I think, to the front axle to get it to steer. Oh shoot, I gotta stop. 110,000, yeah, so it added 18,000. There it is right there. Man, I hit that weight on the trailer really close, too. Holy. Well, there's wiggle room there between the weight of the truck. My 26,000, I was guessing, for the truck and the trailer, but wow. I should go buy myself a lottery ticket. So I'll be right back, guys. <laughs> Take off and go do that. Can't remember the last time I bought a lottery ticket. Been a heck of a long time. Thirty-five miles to go. I've been working the old girl real hard. Once again, this is the Z-Mod 669 horsepower 3406E. And 18-speed uh, with a 342 rear. And that was probably a bit of a mistake. I think for how we're handling this load, a 370 would have been in order. 
see if we can get this thing up to highway speed here. Well, it's only 60 here, so yeah, we just got there now. Just to recap uh, who Salonik is, uh, I've mentioned it before, but if you're new to the channel, uh, he, he's the fellow behind the uh, GMC uh, General slash Chevy Bison truck mod for ATS. It also works in the ETS and has uh, right-hand drive versions that you can drive in the UK. Which is really cool. I, I really enjoyed that when I was doing ETS. I drove it quite a bit. Uh oh, 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 oh. Slow down a bit. Get it to turn here. I didn't get the photo. Oh, darn it. Not a very good photo opportunity here. I guess what we'll do is we'll take it at the yard. We're going to the um, uh, the Deep Grove Lumber Yard here in Bellingham. Might be cool to... Well, let's see what the light looks like. Well, it doesn't matter. I can change the light in the photo. But the uh, when we turn the right-hand corner and go through the uh, downtown up there, let's take this view here and watch for interesting buildings or anything to just use as a backdrop. Like I say, I probably worry too much about that. Oh, jeez. <laughs> He's uh, coming into our lane there. I could use a bit of his lane to make the right hand turn. Those hues behind us here. Pitch that guy off a little bit. We're gonna have to just get up close to this guy here. Have a little peek around. I wonder if I took a photo right here with the X's in the background disappear. Hang on, let's find out. Oh shoot. Well, sorry about that. I was really mashing away on the buttons there and made a mess of it. Yeah, that was sort of an interesting uh, photo spot, but oh, and that's cool there. Mural on the building. I guess I'll have to uh, take a backup one in the yard when we pull in. We've still got a load on. There's an old church. Hmm. I don't know what the significance of having a church in the background of a photo would be. Cool though. Folks who live in Bellingham probably go, yep, that looks about right. <laughs> These guys seem to do a fairly good job of 
getting local points of interest close to uh, the, real, uh, um, the real thing. I don't think there's anybody behind us. We can swing around here a little bit. Shouldn't have to swing too wide anyway. Oh, there's somebody there. Yeah. Yeah, he's not coming around us. I'm gonna try a few different spots for a photo here. So bear with me, I'll try not to mess up the keys again. Well, that wasn't gonna work. There's a, a tennis right on the roof of the building there. Uh, right in the way. Let's try again here. Oops. Well, I did it again. I gave you a bunch of piggledy piggledy jerking around stuff with trying to get the photo going. My word. So, let's see where they need it. All the way in the back. I wonder what um, what are the mirrors on this? Pretty good. We'll try it from the inside. The, uh, hmm. Yeah, we'll see. I do have my zoom button. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, we got the zoom button, so we should be all right. That zoom button is the interior... I think it's called interior zoom. Something like that. Yeah, it was a fun trip. Nice scenery. Great to get on that old road again. All right, let's see what we can do here. If we can see close enough. It's, it steers pretty quick, so you gotta watch it, so. Yeah, that's tears quicker than that. <laughs> Let's see if we can save the day here. Get over there. Straight it out. Oh boy, we're just kind of eased on down the line there. Should work without too much trouble. There we go. See how that looks from outside. <laughs> if it look, yeah, oh, yeah, it'll work. Yeah, cool deal, right? What do you think? Oh yeah, what we'll do here is let's. Um, it's gonna be interesting to see what happens when we get the cargo off. Oh no, that's when you detach it. The ramps go down. I'll show you that again. Wow, it's good money. You're on time. Good thing we didn't reroute. <laughs> That would have been ugly. So let's uh, pull ahead here. Let's check the animation. Oh, I guess we could put the truck uh, axles up. They lift. Yep. We don't need those down. Give it a little space behind the trailer here. And let's change the view. And we'll decouple. Oh, shoot. It changed the view for us, so we'll have to try that again. Oh, yeah, it goes up pretty quick. Did it go down that fast? That's fairly quick. Anyway, neat. I like it. Awesome. Good work. So, there it is. That's the beta. Um, I can put a link to the one that's uh, for sale right now you can buy it in uh the current form for 10 bucks i believe and i think i don't know if the deal is still on you'll have to go and check uh follow the link in this truck mod for me because i bought the trailer a week or two ago uh, when the truck mod comes out i'm going to get it uh as part of that deal so and now, instead of just one version, there's four different versions of the trailer. 
and I believe it's all length related. And this is the big one at 32 feet in potentially, you know, the weight rating on it. So there you go. Interesting stuff adds a new dimension to the game. And when the cargo description or defs are available to pups and he can put them in for uh, recons ATS, and driver 47's ATS expansion and all those construction sites uh, driver 47 is putting in, it'll be even cooler. They have a whole new reason to, you know, take that JCB stuff to those sites or any of the other loads. Like there's Liebherr and there's default stuff and there's other interesting loads as part of this uh, trailer. So I took a JCB load just because I really wanted to put that 61,000 pound load on there because I couldn't do it with Pingas. And uh, yeah, pretty excited about finally taking that uh, track hoe on this trailer. So... There you go. Uh, as always, guys, really appreciate you following along. We'll catch you in the next one, and bye for now.